This is Jim Doyle on San Francisco Bay, where international racing syndicates are vying for the 34th America's Cup. San Francisco Bay is a natural amphitheater for sailing, with its rich maritime history and stunning views. It's also treacherous, with fierce winds, fog, rocks, and currents. Training for this year's races has resulted in two major accidents and the death of a sailor. When I was a boy, my father taught me to sail. We never imagined this. 72-foot catamarans with sails that look like jet aircraft wings and sailors wearing crash helmets. Yacht racing is widely perceived as a boring spectator sport. Organizers hope to draw large crowds this year by staging these races close to shore on a shorter course. But with faster boats increasingly driven by technology, some say the Cup has become more of a high-speed drag race than a contest of sailing tactics. Since its origins before the Civil War, the America's Cup has been driven by innovation. Naval architects, inspired by extreme sports and experimental designs, now use computer models and wind tunnels for testing, while sailors use hydrofoils to glide above the water and sail more than twice as fast as the wind. The race boats, flying at up to 50 miles an hour, are light years apart from the J-boats of the 1930s or even the slower monohulls of a decade ago. Critics say the 14-story tall vessels are overpowered by their massive sails, which exert tens of thousands of pounds of pressure on their fragile carbon fiber hulls. It takes a crew of 11 extreme athletes to maneuver these saltwater flying machines around the race course. In October 2012, the America's Cup Defender, an only U.S.-owned race boat, Oracle, flipped over while training in a stiff breeze. Its wing sail was smashed to bits. Its 11 sailors were rescued. On May 9th, Sweden's Artemis capsized and split apart. Andrew Bart Simpson, an Olympic sailor, was trapped beneath the wreckage. His death prompted safety measures requiring personal oxygen tanks for sailors and new limits on wind conditions. The first trophy was won in a gentleman's bet by the schooner America in 1851 in a race against the British around the Isle of Wight. For 132 years, the United States held fast, staging races off Newport, Rhode Island. Its winning streak ended in 1983, when Australia too used a radical keel design to beat U.S. skipper Dennis Connor's Liberty. Since then, the silver trophy has sloshed back and forth between Australia, the United States, New Zealand, and Switzerland. The Kiwis, led by Sir Peter Blake, held the cup for several years, hosting two cup regattas on New Zealand's Hauraki Gulf. The America's Cup has always been a spectacle of wealth and power, enticing captains of industry like CNN founder Ted Turner, software tycoon Larry Ellison, and Patrizio Bertelli of Italy's Prada Fashion House. It's billed as a friendly competition among nations, but it's also a cutthroat game. Oracle Team USA was recently accused of cheating in preliminary races by placing lead weights on its boats. A jury of the International Sailing Federation penalized the team with two race losses in the America's Cup Series and expelled three team members from the regatta. In a statement, Oracle Team CEO Russell Coots said his team would make the required crew changes, but he disagreed with the unprecedented penalties. Larry Ellison, whose Oracle team is the America's Cup defender, learned to sail on San Francisco Bay before building his business empire and hired sailors to teach him the art of ocean racing. Winning the Cup proved difficult. His team failed twice before its victory in 2010 off the coast of Spain. Ellison has spent hundreds of millions of dollars of his personal fortune since 2000 on his quest to win the Cup and defend it. Critics say he's taken his fight too far. Design rules for this year's Cup were so ambitious and costly that only three challengers showed up. After a summer of on and off racing, Emirates Team New Zealand won the preliminary trials known as the Louis Vuitton Cup. The Kiwis are now challenging Ellison's Oracle Team USA for the 34th America's Cup in a best of 17 series. It's a new era for the professional sporting world's oldest trophy, one that holds more potential excitement for spectators and new multiples of risk for the sailors aboard.